What is going on guys? So today's video, we've got some really important information. I've been scrolling through eBay and I've seen some stuff that I would like to get as many people aware about as possible. Um, if you could hit that like button right away, maybe even leave a comment. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, definitely do that for me. Um, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, that would definitely help spread the word and we can get everybody who's maybe interested in buying some silver contacts uh, this information because I do not want people wasting their money, all right? We work hard for it and we need to spend it on stuff that uh, is going to do us some good, right? And I don't think this is it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. I hope you guys had a great weekend. It is Monday. Well, it's not Monday. It is Monday for you. So... I can't say this is the most exhilarating video, but I think it's important information. So I've, I've been, I watch a lot of YouTube myself and I've actually been going to uh, finding myself watching smaller channels, right? Like 5,000 and under, right? Um, and I stumbled upon this one and I'm not going to put any names because I don't want to start any drama or anything like that. Um, we're all doing this for fun. You know what I mean? Some people, anyways, I'm not here for drama, but I just want to say that I found some information out there and it's not, it's not good. <laughs> so I just want to make sure that I can help get some out there so that we're not spending our hard earned money on stuff that uh, is not worth it. So this video is about silver contacts and let me tell you, they are not worth purchasing online unless you can get them for almost free, right? You're going to spend more in shipping than what you probably should be purchasing them for, for the extent to get the silver out of them, right? So I'm going to pull up some stuff here on eBay, kind of just go over maybes and then no's. And then with a couple of examples of the weight that we would have off of a silver contact, basically silver to base metal ratio, right? So I've taken a couple apart and we'll get to that. So let's get on eBay and see what we can find. Um, if anything is available right now anyway, hopefully we got a couple. All right, we are live. So I'll try to get this out of the way here, but so some of these I'm not familiar with, right? So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say exactly, you know, to buy or to not to buy. All I can say is that I've had, um, so like these for example, um, <clears throat> these big round ones. We did these on the channel. I can't say they're the exact same alloy, but these ones were almost pure silver, right? Let's see. Let's see if we can find any other ones. Uh, let's see. All right. So stuff like this, 450 bucks for 10 pound plus silver contacts, copper, brass, precious metals, right? 10 pounds. Okay. So let's say we can get 10 pounds of pure copper, which is most likely not going to happen. That's 40 bucks. Um, and just by looking at this picture, right? So I have some of these in, I'm in, like in person right now. Um, very similar anyways. I can't say they're from the same exact thing, but like, hold on, let's see. Like I have, I have these brass contacts here and we'll do a, we'll do a, a quick little close up of what you're getting for base metals per silver. It's it's insane. If some people buy this stuff, please do not buy this stuff. You you know, we work hard for our money. Um <laughs> and if we're going to buy something for an invest well, investments, I mean or not maybe not necessarily investments, but you know, if you think you're going to get more more silver than 450 bucks out of this, it's just not gonna happen. Um, you know, that's like highway robbery. What else do we got? Uh, there's actually not a whole bunch of them out right now. 
I was just looking yesterday on my phone. I should have recorded it. So these bigger contacts, I can't say. These like these big square ones, you know, if they're the same consistency as these guys here or like the big round quarter size ones, like I've had good luck with those. But, you know, like I said, I didn't purchase those. And um but the batch that I had did have almost 99% silver. It was it was actually a pretty good refining. Let's see here. If I can just do maybe eliminate scrap. See what we can get come up with here. Um, nothing, 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 nothing. So let's see here. These ones are all sweat on and sweat off. So I do have some that are sweat on. So what I have realized though, is that if you see anything with the, with a, <laughs> I'm pointing like you can see what I'm pointing at. Um, I'll try to get here like this guy right here. So I'm circling the the minus or the magnifying glass around it. If you see anything like that Chances are It's just silver plated tungsten and so like I'm looking at a bunch of those here So these are these I would say that some of these are out of breakers um, You know, I can't say much about like so like this one for example like you can see the silver like coming off of it um, you know, in these darker ones here, you know, the silver contact, like the, the content ratio isn't going to be very good. Pure silver turns like this when you heat it up, you know, it, it turns really white. And if your alloy is going to be, you know, if there's copper content in it and quite a bit of it, when you heat it up, it's going to turn dark like that. That's the copper oxidizing. So you know, just be careful when, you know, this is three bids at 76 for four pounds. Like, I can't say that would be good or bad. Um, because like I said, like I would stay away from this because every time I find something with texture like that, it's typically plated tungsten. Now, I can't speak for all of them, right? Because I've, you know, I, I, I've only worked with a couple, um, you know, I've done a whole bunch of breakers and I... I have the capability of getting a whole bunch of like newer breakers and I, I tend to stay away from them because just to get the silver contacts out of them and uh, <laughs> with them being is like, I would say, I would say 75% of them that I do, the breakers that I do aren't worth the trouble because it's just plated. Now, if you can get a bunch of free ones and you don't mind tearing them apart yourself, like, you know, that's, that's up to you, but I definitely would not pay for them. I'll tell you that. You know, free and paying for something is a whole different ball game. Um, let's see what else we got. Well, anyways, I just wanted to bring a couple examples up. We don't have to. We don't have to go too crazy into this, at least on the eBay stuff. So I'll back out of here, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I'll bring you into real life examples. Right. So kind of like what I was saying here. Um, these ones, for example, right? So these are actually just welded on. You know, they must have a special machine that just welds it because it was just melted brass. There was no solder on these ones. So an example. Let's do... Hold on. It should have hit the tear button. So we 1.8 grams worth of base metal, which is basically junk to us. I mean, it obviously adds up, but I mean, what we're going for is the silver. So you got two grams total. 0.16 grams, and this this right here, this isn't even pure silver. You know, this is probably like anywhere from 50 to 80% silver. So in the big scheme of things, you're not getting a whole bunch. So here's 16 I did. Here's the rest of the stuff, right? So all of this, I guess let's get a weight on that. What would that be? Just to kind of like up the scale a little bit. So 28 grams, so almost an ounce of brass. 
And out of that, you're gonna get 2.05 grams of unpure silver that still needs to be, oh, I had one stuck to my hand. 2.17, it's not a whole lot. Now I'm not saying don't go for this stuff, but definitely don't be spending your hard earned money on it. There's, there's, there's other things to buy. Um, you know, unless you're trying to, you, you just want to try it kind of thing. Like maybe, maybe you're buying some ore or maybe uh, some pay dirt because you can't, you don't get this stuff and you just want to give it a shot. Like I could see that, you know, here's another example. So these ones were pretty good. These are a sweat on as well. They actually had some tin on there. So I'm not sure what the consistency of the, the, that solder is. These were sitting in AP and it didn't dissolve. So it must be a higher purity like of silver content in that, in that solder. But, you know, 11.11 .11 grams. So typically what you see with these is people just cut them off. Like that's what I used to do. And I, you know, I still do it if I can't sweat it off for, you know, I've been, I've been working on new ways to, to get this stuff, right? Because acids are really expensive. It's a lot of waste to create and then you have to deal with the waste. So if you can do some manual labor to get it off, that's where you're going to save. So what I've been doing is just grinding these back rivets off and then pulling the actual, um, contact off of there so let's see here one second so this is how you would typically see them right this is going to be like this and then the contact would be on the top let me see if i can pull out a contact quick there we go so this is the contact that you would see on top of that that copper Excuse me. So that would be pressed in there, right? And that's about what you would see. That's what I used to do. And I still do that when I go for the, the copper cell, right? Especially these pure copper ones. But let's get an example. So like just the contact alone is half a gram. That's on the floor. That's half, half a gram. You know, but you got 0.6 gram worth of base metals you got to remove. And this is, this isn't even all silver, right? So you're talking like there's a, there's a tiny little silver contact on here. I would say half of this, maybe even two thirds of this is base metal. Before you get to the contact, which is only 50 to 80%. So, you know, if you're buying this, just make sure it's at a heck of a deal. All right, here we go. We've got one contact, and I can't say I got all the base metals off of it, right? So we can see a little button of copper there. The way I, I chemically remove just the base metals, sometimes it does touch the, the silver. So you can see there's a very small amount of silver that was touched. So we'll go ahead and say that the amount of copper that is still attached would equal the same the the amount of silver which i can't even say you know we we just skim the top of the the silver off that is probably twice the amount of of silver we removed all right well anyways let's get a good example of this so let me grab another one that's fully in contact that i ground off of there quick back so here's here's one what it looks like fully fully in, encased. In comparison, so it's a very small amount of silver. All right, and let's do the full contact one. 0.61 grams. So that's just ground off there. 0.291 so I'd say less than well it's less than half of the weight of this here but we also have to include that this is not pure uh, it's not 
pure silver. It's not pure. If we dissolved this, we would have copper in it. Even if I removed all of that, we would still have some copper or some other metal they alloy with this. It's not pure. You can tell that just by looking at it, right? If you stick any silver in acid, you're not going to get that color. So, there you go. Anyways, I didn't want to make this video too long, but I just wanted to show you that it's it's not worth buying this stuff, you know. You, you're not even, like that $450 one, you're not even going to come close to getting what you paid for that. That's... That's not good. It's not good. So please, 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 please don't buy those. Now, like I said, if that's something you want to try because you're into the you're into the the refining stuff and you don't get a whole bunch of them, maybe you want to try it just to see what you can get. I mean, that's that's all on you. All I know is that you're definitely not going to get your money back worth out of it, out of silver plus your acids plus your manual labor. You know, it like, I do the manual labor stuff for fun. It's free, right? I, You know, most of the time, if I'm doing this stuff, I'm just watching TV anyway. So, what's, what's the, you know, if I keep my hands busy, I'm dismantling stuff or, you know, it's like, <laughs> it's being productive while being unproductive kind of thing, right? And it's fun. Plus, I really enjoy silver. So, like, I, I don't mind going after the free stuff, but I would never never purchase silver contacts wouldn't do it um you know like i said unless you're getting a steel on them but you know even four pounds i bet you the the, the shipping cost is going to equal what you're going to get out of silver and that's just getting it to you well there we have it i uh definitely wouldn't recommend buying that stuff you know like i was saying if you want to uh you know test it Maybe you can't get a whole bunch of it or you can't get a hold of any of it and you want to give it a shot to try and refine, kind of like buying uh, um, some ore or some, you know, pay dirt, go ahead. But I can tell you right now, you're not going to get the amount you spend on, in silver. Not going to happen. But anyways, if you've made it this far into the video, I know it's getting long. I'll, I'll, I'll wrap it up here. Um, I'm going to put a link here. And, uh, yeah, don't forget, giving away that one gram of gold, and we're going to pull it this Friday, all right? So, um, if you haven't seen that video, subscriber's video right here, and uh, go ahead and watch that video, and it'll tell you how to get entered into the one gram giveaway. All right? Well, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys had a great weekend, and I will see you tomorrow.